Hi, in this video, we'll talk about attribute binding. For all those HTML tag elements which have the attributes but they don't have a relevant DOM property, we will go for the attribute binding. So the practical implementation will remain bit similar as of the property binding but here we will have to put ADTR in the prefix of the property name. So whichever attribute you want to bind, let's say call span, row span, just before that you will have to say ADTR dot that is attribute dot row span or call span and after that you can put the name of the components property which value will be passed to that attribute. So let's see a practical implementation of attribute binding. So as here we are working with this table structure where we were showing the first name, last name, full name, salary and the department of the employee data. Now here I want to add a header and for the first row for that what I have done I have created one extra row and have put the text employee details. As here it will only be a single column and in the others you can see it is the two column. So you can see I have put the attribute call span with the value 2 so that it will span to two columns and here it is looking like. But if I talk about this value of this attribute call span it is totally hard coded. Now if I want to apply the attribute binding out here what will I do first? is I will come to the employee component and here I will create a property called call span of number type and here I will assign it a value that is 2. It's number I'll just write it like that and we'll come back to the HTML and the way I was working with the attribute binding and the way we were working with the property binding I will put this particular value in the square bracket and here I will pass the name of my property that is the call span. So let's save it and come to the browser and here you can see there is an error like it's not showing any data but when I will come to the console it will show me there is some error. So let's see what is that. So here it's saying call span is not a prop known property alright. Since I am going through the property binding and it is not a known property, it is just an attribute of HTML and it doesn't have a DOM property. So for this HTML attribute, if I want to do any binding, I will have to prefix ATTR dot so that it will tell it like this one is going to be an HTML attribute, not the DOM property. As soon as I will do the changes and will save it, here you can see my data is still visible alright like it was coming earlier so just keep in mind the way of doing the binding of attribute will be as similar as that of the property binding but here I will have to prefix ATTR dot just before the name of my property so whenever you are going through the property binding by default if you are getting the error like it is not a known property so you just have to think like it is not the DOM property but the HTML element and you just put, put the ATTR dot and it will start working. So this is about the attribute binding in Angular 2.